Hello everyone. Hackers don't need your password anymore because most of the time they may already have it. But you know that one setting, if you turn it on, can save your account from hacking. Um, so that 2FA or two-factor authentication can stop the hacker from stealing your account. Let me show you how. All right, so hey, um, I am your online security guide and I simplify cybersecurity for everybody, uh, you know, everyday people. Today, we are talking about two-factor authentication or 2FA. Uh, or sometime you may hear it being called MFA. We call it multi-factor multi authentication. So let me explain what it is and why you need it. So um, has the two-factor authentication or MFA or multi-factor authentication. So um, you have this uh, you know, you you log in with your username password to the website, to the app, or whatever things, your banking account, whatever you use. But uh, it just doesn't stop there. Um, you know, you get a notification on your phone, or it could be something else, um, like an app on your phone or a text message. And that's basically adding that added security uh, to your account. So let's think of this if we were to just use an analogy that you are locking your home, like you have kind of two doors. So um, you have like outside door, um, which everybody can see and you know, you have a key for that. But then once you open that key, then before they actually enter into your house, there is another door which is again locked, maybe with a different kind of key and only you have access to that key. It could be a physical key, it could be a digital key or whatever. So think of it as the same way. Um, so even if your password is stolen, um, since you are the only one who has, uh, who, are, who are basically in possession of your phone, where the second factor code is going to get delivered, um, they won't be able to successfully log in until unless they also have access to your phone, like the physical device. Um, and that's why, let me go back to this slide. So on the left, you see here, um, the hacker is basically trying to log into your account. Let's assume that they have the password uh, from, you know, they may have gotten it from a a hacking or some kind of like you know uh, it they found it on a, a black web or dark web or you know whatever but then on the right side you see this screen popping up on your phone and one it's blocking them from proceeding further two it's also alerting you that hey somebody's trying to get into your account and you can definitely decline from here but you can also alert the uh, your bank or whatever the you know the owner of that uh, particular applications um, they are trying to hack into that hey my account um, probably has been hacked and you know you can get it locked down or something so it's good in like both the cases you know they of course didn't succeed but you know you also get notified all right so moving on why you need the 2FA well, as I was saying earlier, so millions of passwords are getting leaked every day, um, you know, in different data breaches, and your might be one of them. But the two-factor auth authentication uh, can stop, um, you know, hackers from succeeding to take over your accounts, uh, even if they have access to your password. And, you know, uh, it is reported that it, to, if, you know, if the two-factor authentication is enabled, it uh, blocks 99% of the automated attacks. So uh, it's a lot, like if you look at it, it's, it's, a, it's a lot uh, how much it blocks. So you definitely want to enable that when uh, possible. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to enable the two-factor authentication. And this is from the Google 
and I already have it uh, enabled. But you know, basically you go to the security section and then you see two step verification. Uh, and you know, in some other kind of different website, you may see like two factor or whatever. So basically you turn it on. Uh, for me, it's already turned on. So that's why it's already green here. But if it wasn't, then you know, you will have an option like it will say, off and then you'll have an op you will have an option to turn it on and then once you successfully turn it on then you'll see this right side screen that you know your account is protected with two step verification or two factor um, and there you go it's it's not a big deal so this is just from one like you know google's perspective but like beat any other application it's kind of like similar setup and then when you turn it on it gives you an you an option uh, different website may support different kind of two factor authentication so sms based is the easiest one um, most of the website go like uh, you know right off the bat but um, that's not the most secure uh, most you know the safest one but again like it's better than nothing um, so even if it's just the uh, even if it's just the sms turn it on but you may also get an option like uh, enable two-factor authentication using Google Authenticator or Microsoft Authenticator. So those are basically small apps you can install on your uh, mobile device and then and that's where you will receive the this second factor uh, code. And I'll, I'll go a little bit in detail like what is the better if given the choices, which one you should go for. All right, so moving on. Um, all right, so some extra tips here. Um, always enable two-factor authentication. Again, be it your email, banking app, social media, shopping sites, or anything you do. Given the choice, always, always enable two-factor authentication. And as I was saying earlier, if possible, um, if given the choices, if they, if uh, you know, if an app supports multiple kind of two-factor authentication, then choose the apps. They are safer. Uh, when I say apps, the authenticator, like Google Authenticator, uh, Microsoft Authenticator. So there are too many of them, so I can't name all of them. But you know, um, choose those over the plain SMS. But even if those are not there, even if somebody just supports the SMS-based or email-based that is still better than having nothing. So enable them. Even if it's with the email or SMS, enable those, please, please do enable them. And regardless how you receive your two-factor authentication code, don't ever share that code with anybody, be it your family, your friends, your boss, uh, the authority like police or whatever like the law enforcement or even if it's uh, somebody's claiming that i'm from the same bank whose app or applications you are using they they don't need to know your code uh, if anybody is asking for that assume that it's a fraudster and they are trying to hack into your account um so that's all i got uh for you today so again 2fa is a quick free and you know could save your account and you from losing everything so turn it on today um given the choice please do turn it on and if you find this helpful give it a thumbs up subscribe share um and you know like this video and let me know in the comment what other topics you'd like me to cover in the future thank you so much